Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger, welcome aboard. Uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, uh, while, I am all about what's in my fridge, using what's in my fridge. I've got uh, some prosciutto, I had made a tapas, like a plate of meat and cheese and stuff. I've got some uh, prosciutto left, and I've got some spreadable cheese, soft cheese from Alouette. That's gonna, I love using that. If you're going to stuff a chicken, stuffed chicken breast or whatever, that stuff is so lovely. So I'm still going to do in that. And uh, one breast of chicken is going to be enough to feed two people. Trust me on that. So you guys ready? Let's create something with that. You guys ready? Ditch it. Oh, I got all my stuff out so I can get it all ready. I'm going to use this kind of cheese from Alouette. Gentil Alouette. Je te plumerai le I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Reduced fat, garlic, and herbs. I love this. It's a spreadable cheese. And it, I love when I'm doing a stuffed pork chop or chicken, especially chicken. I love to use this kind of cheese. So... I'm gonna have some breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use some Japanese style panko breadcrumbs. I used it in another recipe and it was very delicious. So any kind of panko you got. This is plain old panko. So I'm gonna zhuzh it up as they say with some Uncle Steve shake, gator shake. Very nice. I'll put a link to where you can get some of that. It's very, very nice. So I'm gonna put some of that in. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It smells fresh like you wouldn't believe. So I'm going to season my breadcrumbs with that. Just zhuzh it up. Probably a tablespoon of that in there. All right, so I'm going to mix that up. Let me show you how I'm going to cut the uh, chicken breast. Okay, this is two slices of prosciutto. I'm going to put that inside the chicken breast. So with a chicken breast, you just lay it flat. And Good knife here, my favorite knife, Kuma knife. I reviewed this many, 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 many moons ago. Still use it every single day. Still as sharp as the first day I got it. It's, it's an Amazon, so I'm gonna put the link to that. It's a, my favorite knife. I have gotten it for my daughter. I've gotten it for my friends over here for Christmas. It's the best. All right, so just slice it right down the center and pretty close to the edge, okay? Not all the way through but pretty close. Let's see how that looks there, okay? Good. And let me wash my hands first and then I'll show you what's next. I'll spray my pan here with some olive oil spray. Just take the paddle out and spray the side you're gonna cook it on. You can use a flat pan for sure. All right, before I get my hands all dirty. Now I'm not gonna use this whole tub, so I took half of it out because I don't wanna contaminate it because I'm gonna be, you know, spreading the chicken with this. So I took the other half out and put it in the fridge. Okie doke. Let's start with, let me think about this. I'm gonna put some of the spread on there first, a little bit. is so thin it's so good it's going to be protected inside the chicken breast all right i'm going to put some more cheese down you could do a flour egg wash all that stuff if you want to i'm just going to do straight up breadcrumbs okay i got one more slice there so that up. Put it this way. Some more of this lovely cheese. All right. So I'm gonna try to keep this rolling so I don't have to stop the video here. This is probably put some people to sleep out there. ASMR stuff. <laughs> They have a couple different kinds of this stuff. It's pretty good. Okay, so I've got the breadcrumbs here. All right, and I'm just gonna fold it back up to its original place. Just cover it up with some good old panko. I washed the chicken and patted it dry, not too much because you want a little bit of moisture on that chicken so the breadcrumbs stick like this. 
get the side. And this is for Tom and I. One, one breast of chicken is totally enough. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the air fryer and I'm gonna pause it, wash my hands. Well, wash my hands, pause it, and then change the angle to the cooking instructions and we'll go from there, okay? Yes. So I'm not gonna spray the top of this yet. I'm gonna cook it for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna spray the top. Usually a chicken breast takes about 25, 30 minutes, but I'm gonna check the temperature of this in about 15 minutes. I'll let you know the total cooking time, but the top will be sprayed with this olive oil spray, very light mist spray. It's my go-to top sprayer. Say so. All right. So I'll see you at the end, and I'll let you know how long I cooked it for. We're gonna cook it bottom on top on at number four, and I'll see you later, hey guys. It's about 28 minutes. I'm gonna check the thermometer, the temperature with my thermometer. Sorry, got English all of a sudden. All right. We're at 155, 58. We're trying to reach 165, so I'm gonna do it for another five minutes. So it'll probably be about 30 minutes total, 32 minutes. Hey guys, so 30 minutes, about 30, 32 minutes. Ready? Looks good, doesn't it? I'm gonna cut it right down the center so we can see the guts and everything. Lots of juices coming out of that chicken. I'll tell you, that cheese is so lovely to cook with. It's not just a dip. Look how hot that is, huh? I'm going to let that cool just a second, and I'll uh, we'll take a, a taste. All right, here we go. Looks so good. Nice and crunchy. Try to get some prosciutto, prosciutto. That's a big old bite. That's okay. I got this. Don't bother me, I'm eating. Oh my God. Delicious. That little gator shake in the back is really good. Delicious. Not much work. You saw. Prosciutto comes out. That cheese is so good. That chicken's moist as heck. And I'm not a chicken breast kind of girl, but in the air fryer, it just comes out so moist. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Thanks for shopping. Bye-bye.